One tip about living in LA. One tip about it? Yeah, like what should you know before you move here? Packer, man. Challenge, bro. It's finally great to meet you, man. Yeah, you too. How's the trip going? It's lit, bro. I'm actually head back tomorrow. We had um, I went by uh, Gerard's little event up in the hill. Oh yeah, Gerard yeah, Adams. Yeah. Went there. It was it was dope, bro. You know Ryan Blair? You know that? He um he had a company with Vice Sally's. He was on I drugs. Know, I know his name, but I don't yeah. know why. He's dope. He lives up in the hills or whatever. But got it. Dude, they raised like 150 grand. Can we get my man a seat here? I'm trying to go up to the hills to interview Gerard in person. Yeah. Like, nah, you gotta come back to school tomorrow. I'm like. Hey, yeah, mom. mom. Mom's gotta give you an extra day. That's nice. Oh, if I FaceTimed her, I think she would say. Yeah, can we? Oh, yo, okay. So oh, she's, she's, a, she's a fan of. Yeah. Does she know who I am? Yeah. Oh, dude. We've been watching you since like oh wait, no. What's mom's name? Denise. Hey, mom. What's good? Hi, mom. Don't even do that to me right now. Hi, mom. Hi, girl. I knew he was gonna do that. How are you, mom? We mom, got... mom, we have a um, just like a pretty serious sort of, I guess, request. I guess we would call it. Oh, he's not staying in California. I'm missing school. Mom, mom, we what? we we talked about it, and we we really think it's worth it, and we think that the opportunity um, <laughs> to get this interview is is worth the day of school. And we were thinking, like when we think back on young Casey's right. life a few years from now. That one day of school probably won't matter, but this interview with Gerard could potentially change the trajectory of his whole life. I just think it's worth it. I think, just Casey. think about it. Casey, I'm gonna kick your butt. Come on, Mom. Just think about it for like 20 minutes and then send a text. Oh, oh man, it just happened. Oh, that's right amazing. Well, you, you raised an incredible son. Yes, I'll, so I'll see you Saturday. Hey, he said he'll see you Saturday. He's gonna be fine. He's doing all the right things. And two days. You got. You can hit me up in twenty minutes. Yeah, just think it, think it over. But trust me, it's a good idea. But didn't you already meet with him before? He didn't get the interview though. Gerard. Yeah, we didn't get the interview. Uh, Not in in person. It's worth it. He's learning a good lesson about perseverance and uh, you know. Commitment. Seeing things through. <laughs> I will think about it and I will get back to you. All right, you got like 20, 30 minutes. Nice yeah, to I'm meet you, Mom. Right in your yeah. at work today. If he texts me, if you let me stay, I will buy you a Louis Vuitton. Pocketbook, not a bag. And let me difference. tell you, there's a Louis Vuitton store about uh, half a mile from here. Well, that can be little. It doesn't have to be big. Sure. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Casey, we're going there right after. I got yeah. you. I might. I can see it from the window. Give me 10 minutes. All right, now. that's all we need. Short story long, that's it. We can't wait to hear that yes. Alright, talk soon. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Bye. Nice to meet you Peace too. Peace out. Talk to you Sunday. Bye. Saturday. Later. Bye. Oh, you Dude. got it. That's Dude. gonna work. That's nice, man. What a finesse. That's gonna work. That dog. I'll tell you Stay what though, tuned. right over there at the Beverly Center is uh, Louis' store. How far is it? Right there. Oh, uh, okay. See the screen. <laughs> Bro, that's hilarious. Dude. That's where your head is. That shit worked, bro. Yeah, it did. So you just started the podcast. Your Freaking, I, was, I hit up Gary Vee, and then that's when I booked a meeting. Afterwards, I was like going deep in his content. He's like, you better f and podcast. And I was like, shit, man. And I was going to walk up there with a podcast. But what were you doing before that? So I own a viral marketing company. So uh -huh. it's just like, we pretty much help people build their personal brands by creating viral videos, like, mm -hmm. and then making them viral. But that's what you were doing yeah. first. Yeah, so How long ago did you start that? It's about like six to eight months. But before that, I was doing like affiliate marketing, but always building my brand. Like everything for me has been about networking, like since day one. So, but yeah, a lot of social media stuff. So my plan is this, so graduating June 6th, I'm going to Costa Rica all of July from like a school trip and take yeah. this EF tour thing. And I went to China with it the year before, but went to going to Costa Rica all of July and then plan to move like end of August after I like wrap stuff up and Got it. ready to head out and then. But here, no doubt. That's my mindset, like Got my intuition is like go there. And what are you gonna do, just get an apartment and go for it? Either get an apartment or um, like we just met a lot of people, either whether that be getting like a small little place to actually just like formulate ideas. And I wanna have a podcast video, bro. Like, after seeing your stuff, I'm like, bro, that shit's dope. Like, my shit's a wall. The, that's all I need, though. All you need is like a good. But yeah, I do. Th those signs, bro. I'm trying to get one of those signs. Yeah, it's 350 like, bucks. 350? So I think you'll, yeah. Dope. You, Where do you, you know what? When you move here, that'll be my gift to you. Dope. I'll, be, I'll get like, you a sign. That for sure. Yeah. I want to say, because my brand that I've been building is like, called Rise of the Young. Yeah. It started off, I was trying to do merch, but like I was like 15. Like I was, My first like thousand bucks I made, I made these wristbands called, it was like Rise of the Young wristbands. I have an Instagram on it. And yeah. I was like, 
building like an entrepreneur theme page. We had like a thousand bucks in a week at school. I like got four of my buddies to get like 50 wristbands. Yeah. And I was like, yo, go sell all these for five dollars. It cost me like 13 cents to make in China. Yeah. They were selling them like hotcakes. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of the day, they would all come together and like bring me the money. I was like, good shit. Like pay them all out. Yeah. Yeah. That was like that was like my first entrepreneurial thing before, like social media in a sense. Yeah. With like going through Thai stuff and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, all you need is like a little office and, and a wall you can dedicate. Yeah. I mean, now I want a little bit more space for the podcast and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Because like we started like we started with the chairs against the wall, but then it looked a little too podcasty. Now we put them like in the middle of the room. Yeah. We're doing all these updates and stuff. But okay. I think if I had like a room, it would be better. But you yeah. don't really need. I this literally used to just be my office. Like my desk was over there, and then yeah. a couch here. And I'm like, I don't need all of this space. Yeah. You know, you might as well just. Yeah. That's what I really do in Open. here. <laughs> yeah, it's so, no big deal. Everyone just sits there anyway yeah, when you have meetings sure. and stuff. What's your plan? Like out here, you're just gonna continue doing what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, just bigger and easier. I just like like chill like this, but like networking is like my biggest thing. There's yeah. like so many opportunities come from it. I'd say and like it's definitely even right now. I don't know if this is like something we're kind of trying to create. Like we're trying to me and uh, my business partner, we're trying to like buy a bunch of big Instagram pages like yeah. in the entrepreneur niche yeah. and form like a big media company to like run traffic to and then to build like a brand for the event. The thing is like, it's kind of getting saturated in a way like, if you don't have a face to the brand, like mm -hmm. I know, like you now, it's like if people know you, they'll know Young and Reckless. If they know Young and Reckless, they'll know you. Yeah. So like a lot of these entrepreneur pages, like they don't have a face to the brand. So like, it's like going downhill. Yeah. Like this Build Your Empire page has no face to it. So like, I'm trying to take it over and scale it and like build an infrastructure. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. my, that happened in the last like four days, but like we're trying to acquire that and then scale that Build Your Empire thing. Cause they, it's all like, legal under his name is like a real entity yep. so we're trying to really like grab that where do they make money from promoting other people's shit yeah he's all affiliate marketing um, promos and then I think that's why his for his page but like what we want to do is like build the event structure like you know Grant Cardone right mm -hmm. so he has like 10x growth con like 9,000 people yeah. but he's like 10x growth con Grant Cardone Grant Cardone 10x like, yeah. sort of like you right on reckless like yeah. that page had no like infrastructure yeah. at all so that's what we're trying to do is like grab that and then like scale that yeah that makes sense yeah like this oh, is yeah. a huge network, bro. Like the entrepreneur pages sort of shit. Yeah, yeah, it's more super popular than ever. Yeah. You know, the entrepreneur is super fucking cool yeah, right now. Yeah, dope. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's what right? he said, yeah. though. Like, yeah. like, even when I met him, it's like, he's running a $100 million company. Like, what's his tact to come meet me? It's like, content is important. Yeah. So it's like, holy shit. Like, it's important for me to come to his office so he can get content. Like, he just blows my mind. From, like, from and he's just smart. And he knows, like, you can't, like, you always have to be careful that you're like meeting with the young yeah. people. You know what I mean? Because before you know it, that guy is the next Gary Vee, yeah. and then you're screwed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's where people always go wrong. He's smart enough to know that. Yeah. And he's like, you know, he's having everyone post his shit. When he drops a new dude, book, you're gonna post it. Everyone's yeah, gonna post anyone. it. Yeah. We were talking about the other day, like, dude, because I talked to his media team. They have like hundreds of thousands of just influencers that like they don't even know who Gary is, but they're in the database, like your yeah. address, the phone number, and stuff. Yeah. We'll just send them like, everything for free, like yeah. the books, the shoes, and they'll all just tag them. Yeah, they sent me a link the other day. The other day yeah. they sent me a link like, hey, just fill this out so you can get free stuff from yeah. Gary. I'm like, mm -hmm. that's what happens to me. Being. Yeah, <laughs> like, what are you, what is that? That's, that's what it is. Yeah. Like, they just, he has 26 people working on his Gary V from like podcast. As he should though, I mean. Yeah. Because now he's making money. Yeah. You know, he spent yeah. a long time, I think, building it, but yeah. now he's just printing cash, I think. Yeah. Well, he doesn't really monetize it like from the front end, more like he's, because he always said like, I don't sell anything, but then he's like hardcore book promotion or hardcore shoe promotion. So like, yeah. he does like the big things, you know. Yeah, but his speaking shit oh, has yeah, to be 100K, crazy. 100K, yeah, 100K. yeah, yeah. Is that something you want to do, like speaking at all? I would if it was right. I just I don't have a piece of me that wants to like be preachy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I want to teach people, and I well I, here's the thing. Like here's a, it's a weird fine line. Like I do want to teach people, but I more want to teach them by like just me doing it. And I need to get better at opening up what I'm doing and being a little bit more honest about what I'm doing and like making more videos and yeah. more shit like that. But like, I like Gary's stuff, but I could never be like, get off the couch, yeah. fucking get working. Like, <laughs> I just don't have that in me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know, if it was right, and I really felt like I was doing speaking, because I honestly thought people were leaving that room being like, damn, that yeah. makes, like he, he connected something yeah. for me and, I, and I'm gonna change my, yeah, yeah. yeah. I could, I would do that 100%. Okay. But, if I felt like I was just chasing checks or trying to like, it's so easy for that to switch to like, look at how smart I am yeah, yeah. sort of competition. And I just don't care about that at all. I, I spend so much time on TV and in front of millions of people yeah. being famous for fucking nothing. <laughs> that the last thing I need <laughs> is like more attention. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I will only do it if I feel like every person coming up to me 
is saying like thank you that was really yeah, cool yeah. you know not like oh my god the yeah. smartest guy ever yeah you know that's dope you should do like the thing that charlie did have you seen his video like the nike one it's like it's I like a cinematic video. shot no but it's like a storytelling it's not like him talking to the camera but like it's like reversed it's like a storytelling he's like like a cinematic shot it's like him running but like he's like the voiceover of it yeah it's like, I feel like you could do something like that, like yeah, I'll watch it. a drone, like a drone view of the office, and like yeah. talking to your story, but not in like a um, drama straight to camera, but yeah, like a sure. cinematic drone shot, dope. Yeah, so, I like yeah we're trying to do more videos and shit too, just even video vlogs. Because my whole thing is this, like, I'll just show people what I'm doing and like the meetings I'm having. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I don't care, and I think that there is value to be had from it. Um, but I just gotta figure out, we're trying to figure out the right way to do it, you know, and to like make it look somewhat entertaining. Are you trying to YouTube? Yeah. Okay. Without like super hyping it up, because I have a lot of interesting conversations yeah. now, like with yeah. all my homies and skate friends and whatever, but um, it's just about doing it the right way. I just, I'm just real cautious of, I just don't have that little piece of DNA that like wants to be known as the smartest or like the most motivating guy yeah. in the world, I would be kind of embarrassed, I think, if I was okay. starting to be angled yeah. as that guy. Yeah. I, if it's like, yo, he's just dope, I follow his shit, he's building yeah. a cool brand, That's he's like, letting me in yeah. on all the secrets, love that guy. That's, That's great. But, um, whatever, That's we're gonna sick. find the right spot. That's dope, dope. So how do you get podcasts? Is like, reach out to people? Cause literally, on the flight to LA, I usually listen to music, I just listen to like three year podcast episodes and like, time was like, That's so bad. I listened That's to the, what was the workout guy? What's his name? Uh, Mind Pump. Pump. That one was sick. Yeah, they listened were good. to that one, and then I listened to the one with uh, the Movement Watches. Yep. Yeah, his, I'm getting him Jake a lot now. Grammar. Yeah, they're he, good. A little DM, it's just crazy. Yeah. Another, yeah. A lot of my shit's that way. I mean, here's the thing. I know a lot of people currently from just doing this. I know a lot of people because I've been doing this shit for so long. Yeah. You know, like I, for Kyrie, uh, yeah, I just texted him and said, hey, will you do this thing? Yeah. And like, he's like, sure, whatever. Like I just have been doing this shit for so long that people kind of trust me not to like shoot them anything super whack. But uh, <laughs> uh, so a lot through that, a few through just straight up DMs, yeah. and then um, friends of friends. Like I'll I won't hesitate to if I know somebody knows somebody yeah. I'll be like hey see if they'll do the podcast. Yeah, that's dope. Um, and then and then sometimes people will hit me up and be like hey I think this guy would be good like would you yeah. have him you know even last week's was. Uh, Marshmallows manager Mo. Oh, that one, I listened to that one too. Yeah, he was Super great. Dope. He's such a cool dude. And that literally came from my friend texting me, oh, being like, "Hey, yeah. you should have him. I'll CC you." And I was like, "All right, man, screw it." Like yeah. I didn't know really yeah. what he did. That's dope. He was but sick. I trusted that guy, and um, and it paid off. He was really good. He was super dope. Like the whole like yeah. that changed my mind about like the whole entire structure of Marshmallow brand. I was yeah. Like, Holy shit. Like, yeah. That was that was probably one of my favorites, honestly. Like I didn't know who he was. Yeah. Like, Let me check this one out. That's dope. Yeah, man, it's good. It's a good exercise. There's so much shit that I've like, not like maybe disliked or like wasn't for me until I talked to the people and then I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. You know, like there's even yeah. people I've had on, I'm not gonna say who obviously, but yeah. where I've been like, I don't like this dude. Like this dude seems like he sucks. Okay. But like, I know it's a good story. And yeah. so I'm like, whatever, like be an adult and like yeah. have the conversation. Yeah. And then they come on and you're like, damn it, I like him. You know, yeah, like he's yeah. a fucking cool guy. Yeah. And like, it's that's literally cool. just like sitting down and talking to someone for an hour, hour and yeah. a half. You just like, ah. They're a person too. Mm -hmm. that's, that's why I started, bro. Like, it's like a easy way to get your network up, but have a purpose for it. Like, I know yeah. you said that. Like, you can just talk to cool people. Like, that's what I tell everyone, bro. Like, dude, start a podcast, it bro. Is, like, man. You just have a purpose to talk to someone, and then because even for that, me, to this. Yeah, you're right. Maybe, you know? I, maybe I should. Maybe that's what I should tell people. Because what I started telling people was like, take an take an hour out of every week and block it out of your calendar, and just go have like lunch or coffee or something. Yeah with somebody that you look up to on any level. Like it doesn't have to be Kyrie Irving. It can literally just be like someone in your hometown that kind of inspires you. And because like just sitting and talking to smart people for an hour a week has like changed so much, sure. you know? And like even accidentally built my, changed my network a little bit, yeah. you know? Cause like I yeah. said, like I'm kind of two degrees of separation from literally anyone, but like from doing this, it's like, now these people are my friends. You know, now when yeah, I go yeah. to these, like I go to the yeah. Think and Rich, Think and Grow Rich movie premiere, oh, yeah. and Lewis Howes, and all these people are my friends now. It's yeah. like, oh shit, my whole like sort of network has changed. Circle, yeah, it's dope. Yeah, which is good. It's just a really good exercise. Yeah, definitely. That's how. It's like when I think about it, bro. It's like, dude, I'm from Virginia. I was watching you when I was eight. We had a podcast. I'm in your office. Like, she's yeah. just like, it's now like I'm a, convincing your mom to let you. Literally, that's just yeah. crazy, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's my mom. Come on, mom. Oh, here she is. 
Mom? What's up? Hello? Would we decide? I, I wanted to wait to hear the answer. I didn't want to leave. <laughs> Oh, oh we're getting, no, we're getting there. We're going getting straight it. there. It's Saturday. No, I'm here. I'm just playing. Whoa, what's connected? Oh, we're here. Wait, is this okay? Oh, no, seriously, dude. though. That's no, wild. Casey. Casey. What's up? Do not buy the first. I'm just playing. Hey, you'll see. Stay. We'll see. I don't know. Mom, Tell you're us. the best mom ever. Oh, like, we just had a cool conversation. What was that? How cool I am? Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was about okay. 75% of it. Yeah. I'm sure it was. It was. <laughs> Just inspiration school. and sort of life goals and how, you know, one less day of school doesn't matter. Just little stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I told him, like, because he's from Ohio, like, small town. I'm like, yeah, like, where we're from, it's just, like, negative as hell. Stupid yeah. people. They were just chatting. It was dope. I know. Just connecting. Just yeah. networking. So, mom. Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you, Mom. You're the best mom ever. Bye, drama. Bye. Good stuff. Secure the bag. Later. All right, I will. Stay up. Saturday. All right. Love you. Saturday. Love you. <laughs> Saturday. Love you. Dude, that's that's wild, bro. We did it. Dude, man. like you should have heard her this morning, dude. Like we were she was she yelling was, at me, bro. Him. Not, not happening. Bro. Dude, not happening, bro. You gotta Casey, surprise her with the first. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Casey, sure. I'll teach you how to shop at, at Louis, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even want to. You gotta Learn surprise that her. Skill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What's your thoughts on that? Like designer stuff. Is that, are you like all for? Oh man, really I don't really. Uh, attached. Dude, he owns a clothing brand. He doesn't need it. True. 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 I don't know, man. I, I went through like a phase where I was like pretty about it, but I just I don't really care as much anymore. But you know, I had like Lamborghini yeah, yeah. and Rolls Royce yeah. and fucking What's Louis. Everything. You know, now I just got like a nice new Range Rover and it's it's great. The I black one. Yeah. Black on black. Yeah. Yeah. And I just like normal. You know, I wear. I've been wearing more of my stuff yeah. than ever lately. I don't know. I think I just. I think when you first start to really get money, yeah. Especially when you're like out in front of your brand and you're kind of a, a representation yeah. of your brand, I think it's important. Like I would almost tell anyone, like just go ham for like a little yeah. bit, you know, get it out of your system, show everyone that you're winning. Yeah. Like, cause now <laughs> I can literally wear like a Walmart sweatsuit yeah. and people know that I'm successful. Yeah. Like they just know that now, right? Yeah. So I don't have anything to prove. Yeah. But I do think when you first start making money, there's nothing wrong with just being a asshole, you know, living out <laughs> all your like rapper it. dreams. <laughs> yeah, experiencing it too, like understanding what it's like to buy it, own it, and then if you realize that it's for you or not for you, yeah. that's your own thing, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing like with like partying or with any of that stuff. Yeah. I mean, I think like, sure, don't go crazy and become like some crazy like drug yeah. addict, but yeah, yeah. go have fun yeah. and get that out of your system and learn it, you know, I, I don't know. I think that, <laughs> I think that teaching like just be conservative, don't, you know, be smart forever, yeah. you're gonna lose your mind when you're like yeah. 50. Yeah. Like you're just gonna be like, fuck it, yeah. I'm doing everything. 12 levels. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think you gotta get out of the system. And I do think in today's like, the way this stuff works now, like it's important to show that you're killing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like that's, sure. it is important, so. That's dope. But yeah, there was a time when I uh, just went balls to the I wall, you know, it was worth it. How old were you? Uh, it started probably at 24. Okay. I got yeah. a Lambo for my 20, Sixth birthday for myself. What kind? A Gallardo. That's it. He's, he's a car guy. Yeah, I'm a big car guy. I got a Gallardo and then I traded it for a for a Rolls Royce Ghost at 27. What was what you like better? The Ghost. Okay. Lamborghini sucks. Really? Yeah, it's like driving a go kart like around LA. You know, it's just like you're just sitting yeah, all yeah. day. Like, this is so cool. Like even Ferraris are like um, easier to drive and smoother yeah. and like not so bad. Lamborghinis are like literally like go karts. You gotta scratch that itch though, right? Of course. You got it <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah. Like, I'm like, damn, Lambo, but like, I also look on like, liability, hardcore. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, the day will come. Yeah, I mean, the day will sure. come when you'll have like the cash sitting there and you'll be like, yeah, yeah. fuck it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, why not? You know? Yeah. And then one day you'll be in my position. Hopefully, I was fortunate enough to get it out of my system at 30. Yeah. You'll be sitting here like, oh, silly me. Yeah. You know? And I'll I'm tell you what that day is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude. I think the Lambo's Lambo got to get rid of, bro. Yeah, it's a great day. Yeah, because you get to <laughs> say bet. you did it, and then yeah. it's over, right? Yeah. You don't have to like live with like what if. Yeah. And then Dope. everyone just knows you're killing it yeah. forever. Forever. You know? You just like, hey, hey guys, just so you know, I'm fucking killing it. Yeah. And they never forget that. Instagram picture, that's all you need. Yeah. Now you can move on and just drive around <laughs> a nice Range Rover and not have a care in the yeah. world. Yeah. yeah. That's the truth. That's some fire. I got you, bro. I, I can give you the baller advice all day long. For sure. How to ball properly. Yeah, I like it. How to what's properly your, ball. What's your definition of baller now? Oof. Coffee on a run? 
Like what I would consider ball? Yeah. Shit, I don't know. That's a good, that's a good podcast. You travel a lot? I don't question, cause like, I, don't, I just want to sound cheesy. I think like the properly, <laughs> like properly balling now would be like making sure your family's good. Oh, yeah. Uh, making sure you're doing some sort of like, you know, on some level giving back to Charity. the area where you make money. Like we're going to go, for instance, we're flying uh, next week to uh, D.C. to go to the gun march, right? Oh, yeah. Um, and just to be there and to cover that. Like we yeah. spend so much time marketing to young people yeah. and asking for their money and asking them to buy our t-shirts. Yeah. Like we wanna just go film and be there. I don't have any agenda. It's yeah. just, I wanna use my platform to say we're here. We're not at the club. We're not at blah, blah, blah. Like we're also here. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, that just to have the awareness. Cause I think it's important. Like, you know, but that's that's like a more mature, mature ball. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you spend the money on a balling. first class ticket to Washington, D.C. Okay. Yeah. I like that. And then like send your parents a little bit of money. Yeah. That's cool. Help them with their taxes. Yeah. Their P&L. That's, that's, that's my goal right now, bro. It's retire parents. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I come from. That's like a priority, I'd say. Yeah. I was lucky. I bought them cars when I was really young and then I gave them one year for Christmas. I gave them cash, uh, hey. a lot of it. And then another <laughs> year I paid off their house and offices and everything so they didn't so essentially they, they keep working but they don't they have cash they have cars they don't have any debt but they prefer their life like yeah. so everyone like everyone says like oh, i'm gonna buy my parents a mansion i'm gonna buy them yeah. blah, blah blah like my parents would lose their minds really? yeah if they had that so they, for me? they just want their thing like their yeah. nice little home like they yeah. love it yeah they don't want like the fancy new crazy okay. house you know that's, that's interesting. so i just was able to alleviate like the the pressure yeah which is great. It's the best feeling that's in the world. Cool. Better than a Lamborghini, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's it. It's fulfilling. But yeah, anytime you need balling advice, just call <laughs> me. You know, like, yeah. hey, just curious, thinking about balling out. <laughs> Shit, we're going to go to Louis Store. We're going, bro. Yeah, yeah. go Louis Store. Stay just small. Conservative. <laughs> yeah, you know, get the point across. Yeah. Don't overdo it. Yeah. Those were like. Don't buy it, but buy it for real. Yeah, yeah. Sort of thing. Well, that's the good thing, right? The perfect scenario is your mom says, "Don't buy it," and then you buy it anyway. Yeah. That just makes you a good, you know, True. good son. Because if she says buy it and then you go buy it, you did the right thing, but you don't get the like yeah, that feeling. Yeah. Like, oh, mom, guess what? Yeah, she hooked you up. She just yeah. gave you the opportunity to like still feel good about yeah. it. Don't Sorry. you dare buy it, <laughs> KC. I want the brown one. That's good though. Dope. Well, shit, man. Stay updated. Uh, keep me in the loop on everything. Definitely. Anything we can ever do to help, obviously we're here. Yeah. Um, let me know when you move out this way. Dude. Probably August, September, I'll let you know. Great. What, one tip about living in LA. One tip about it? Yeah, like what should you know before you move here? Hmm. I think there's like 27 of them. <laughs> Three. <laughs> you know sure. I mean, the first one, I, I, this is it. This is it. This is the main one. Everyone always says that LA is like messed up. And the people here are messed up. And everyone here has ulterior motives. And everyone, blah, blah, blah. That is 150% true. But... There's a shit ton of really good people here too, and it's whoever you associate with. And yeah. so, if you come out here and just think everyone's your friend and whatever, and this guy, and you have bad judge of character yeah. and whatever, you absolutely will get into like a lot of people wasting your time, a lot of people whatever, and like some, as dark as you wanna go, right? LA will get real weird. But um, as long as you stick with that small group of your actual friends who actually care about what you're doing, and then go do your LA business yeah. during the day, you'll be set. Stay focused. Let's go, bro. Fire. My man. Let's do some pictures right here. Let's go, bro. Let's do it in front of the sign. If you like that vlog and you want to see more like it, make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button below. <laughs>